Hello everybody, welcome to JN Aquarium. It's been a while. I haven't done a lot of fish tubing in the last half a year or so, but uh, I thought I'd give you guys just a little sneak peek at some of the stuff I got uh, working on here in my absence from fish tubing. I've been spending a lot more time on fish keeping rather than fish tubing. I miss taking videos of my fish. I miss helping to educate, but I don't have the time to do both efficiently. But what I will do is give you guys a little sneak peek at some of the stuff I've been working on. Here's actually some pears I'm just growing out. These are from my babies. Um, but I just found some just a little bit extra stunning than others. So I decided to keep them. This guy doesn't have a mate yet, but uh, very beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm not great with all the different names of all different clownfish. I just seem to have a knack for breeding them. There's another pair that I'm very excited to see how their young turn out. And likewise, another pair. We're gonna look at this guy just a little bit more closely. See the blue? He's hiding, they don't like the camera. They come right out front when I don't have a camera, but when I have a camera, it seems to throw them off a bit. But I don't know if you guys noticed the blue back near the, the rear dorsal fin, or pectoral fin, back by the tail. Here he comes, maybe he'll turn for us. There he goes. Stunning, stunning fish. This guy is one of my babies that I've grown out. And uh, I think his, uh, or her, mate, um, he's equally as stunning, just a little bit different with the snow white with the dirty tail. So what you guys have been looking at is merely a 20 gallon bank that's been divided into six sections on my sump system. Next to that, I have a 10 gallon section sectioned off. And feast your eyes on some of these beauties. These are potential keepers that I'm growing out a little bit bigger just to see how they turn out. But I wanted a real exceptional, exceptional pair of snowflakes. And I think I found it. These are my babies again, and I've decided to keep these guys, these snowflakes here, this guy and this guy down here, just to see how they turn out, because they're turning out absolutely amazing. Mocha, very broken lines, really can't ask for much better snowflake than that. Now I've kept this guy as well separated, because I want to see how this guy turns out looks like a storm a mocha storm of some sort it's not it's one of my babies but uh, just very different markings and I really really want to see how this fish turns out as it gets bigger so hopefully turns out great looks like it's gonna turn out great let me know what you think I think it looks pretty wicked and I'll show you guys this tank too this is right beside my potential keeper tank and uh, these are guys that are going to be for sale shortly I'm still sorting them and grading them but they're uh, they all look like very nice specimens for the most part and uh, these will be available to people very very shortly but yeah there's some real nice fish in there so this is what I've been up to selectively breeding clownfish and keeping only the best and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I guess we didn't talk about this guy too much at all. This guy here was being aggressive. He's got a real dirty tail and I like that. I wanna see how that turns out as a full grown adult. So we're gonna see how that turns out. And anyway, I thought it's very cool. Kind of an oddity, I kind of like oddity fish. And I'll give you a quick update on these guys. This was a pair we kept from our very first successful clownfish. 
batch. These guys, I love them. These are Nicole's fish. They're going upstairs very shortly in a 13.5 Evo. Look at the markings on these guys. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, good conformity. Just really, really nice fish. So these guys are definitely keepers that are staying too. So thanks for watching. I'll try to do more periodic updates. I don't think I'll be doing any real, uh, trying to do any real uh, serious videos in the near future because I'm more focusing on uh, raising fish than, uh, than doing fish videos right now. And right now that's been working for me, but I'd still like to share some of our successes and how we've gotten there with you guys. So uh, I will try to be a little bit more uh, uh, periodic with uh, some videos. But thank you very much for watching. I hope these clowns brought a little bit of a smile to your faces at least. They bring them on to mine every day. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.